Hey guys, welcome back to Sam Gates Technical Tinkering. Um, we're going to switch from Windows to Linux. First thing we're going to do is go to linuxmint.com and go into downloads. And for us, we're going to download the Cin Cin Cinnamon uh, version. I have it already downloading. I just clicked on one of these mirrors. So we're downloading it. I saved it to desktop. So just wait for that to load. So this is the computer that we're going to put Linux in. We uh, restarted it by holding uh, the shift button and restarting. So it'll take us into the recovery. And then we're just going to troubleshoot, advanced, and we're going to restart in in the BIOS. So restart. Okay, so once we're in the BIOS, um, just look for secure boot. I don't think this computer has secure boot. Um, but if you do have secure boot, you might want to turn that off, disable it. And so our file is done. Next we are going to download I'm going to download a... Uh, am I spelling it right, Rubus? No. Rufus. <laughs> I was close. It's been a while. So head over to the Rufus website. And just download the latest version. Close add. Save file. I have it saved into the desktop. And there we go. And then next thing you want to do is you want to open Rufus. And make sure you get a Grab a USB and plug it in. And you might want to format it first. So if you want to format your USB, just right click, go to format, and just do a quick, quick format. Yes. Click OK. Close. Now we're back here. As you can see, there's the file there on the desktop. So now we are going to select um, uh, USB. So there we have it. Wait. And we're going to go disk image, I guess, select, go to desktop, find our image file, which is right there. Click on that. And then we're just going to click start. And then click OK. And then it's asking to, okay, so I'll click continue. Okay, so now we are going to, what? 
That's creepy. Yeah. Okay, we're going to put our um, real city and country. And then click continue. And then we're going to add our name, pick a username, choose a password. And do you know what your name and username is going to be? Yeah? Do you? Okay, type it in. What? Uh, no, just use a, a gaming name. TikTok. TikTok, TikTok. Think about it, take five minutes. It's going to be your name for life. <laughs> All right. So then we click continue. All right, so wait for it to copy, install. Now it's retrieving files. Why is it so All right, so it's done. And we will restart now. Do you need chubby cream? Cut that part out. All right, so now it's restarting. It's asking us to remove installation so we're gonna move that and hit enter uh oh, uh -oh what oh, okay. there's your new computer what? did you forget your password Nope, try again. <laughs> he forgot his password already. <laughs> so we're just going to reboot it. And just hit enter. Do you want to try again, Tan? Okay, so I just re reinstalled since uh, my son forgot his password. <laughs> so I took off the password at boot. So now it should start up with no password needed. Yeah, I saw that too. So it just skipped over your password now. All right. There you go. Now it's installed. Welcome to Linux. All right. So there you have it. We officially got rid of Windows. And now we have a Linux system. Next Mint 2.1. Don't forget to subscribe down at the bottom.